You know, you've mentioned in the cloud, and I know that some business owners, particularly if they're not tech forward, they cringe at hearing about using services in the cloud. What are your thoughts there? Uh, my thought is that that is true. It's common, becoming less common over time. Uh, early adoption ended years ago, and, and sort of that general acceptance is phases where we're at with adopting the technology. Oftentimes, the fear unfortunately gets in the way of, of making the change. So fear of change, which is a, a personal thing, and it's certainly a human, very human thing, is really what's underneath that. So it, it takes, you know, you got, it, it takes having the conversations, it takes learning and becoming comfortable as a decision maker and, or as a business owner or the leader of your company to know that the best thing that you can do for your organization is to try to put your own fear of the unknown aside and try to look at what the benefits are, the pros and cons, what the risks are, and look at what the real true benefit to the company is if you adopt a cloud technology. That being said, every cloud technology, it's there's nothing that's the same about cloud technology across companies. Every company needs something different. So once you go back to the strategy question and you say, what are the requirements? What's the business's goals, plans, aspirations? Um, what numbers are we trying to hit? Um, and you really know where you're going. You kind of back into, okay, great. What's the ideal cloud solution to help us get there? Um, and there's no two clouds that, that are the same. Like, even though everything seems like it might be the same, there's always stuff that's customized. There's always things in particular that your organization would need that's different than somebody else's. In fact, I oftentimes will talk to a business owner who will say to me, this is the best. Uh, I didn't think it was going to cost this much to move to the cloud. And I'll turn and say, okay, I understand that. I'm, I'm curious. Um, what did you think it was going to cost? Right? Because I, I truly get curious about where that people come to these conclusions about how much things are going to cost. Um, it's like, me calling my accountant and, and him saying to me, it's going to cost you X amount of dollars to have a uh, personal financial done. And me saying, wow, I thought it would cost half that. Well, why, why do I think it would cost based on what I have? I'm making it up in my head or maybe my neighbor had one done and it cost him you know, a certain amount of money. That brings me back to the point. What everybody's businesses are different and your, your, your cloud needs and the cost for your cloud are really going to be specific to your business. There might be commonalities that are kind of typical average budgets, and that's true, but you need what you need as based on your business's needs. One thing I would tell you that I do believe you need is you need to be in the cloud and you need to be in a cloud model that works for you because when disaster strikes, you don't want to have local infrastructure in your office. When you, people need to work remotely, they need to know they can rely on the systems being up not a power outage at your office or your power outage, not, even if you have a generator, your generator failing or, or whatever, like you really need to think through the importance of cloud in today's economy. There is no what to, how it used to be. And this isn't a COVID conversation. This was already happening. It's just COVID right. sped it up. What, you know, what do you need to, to hit your revenue numbers, to have your sales team be efficient, to have your marketing be efficient, have your operations be efficient, your finance be efficient. You need efficient systems and you really need to have a good solid cloud solution, which also touches on phones. Uh, I'll use as an example, Office 365. That's a really good unified communication system that includes a Microsoft phone system. That entire package altogether will exponentially speed up your efficiency, your productivity in your company. There's no question that it'll do that. What customizations or, or what version of that? I don't know. I have to talk with you. Like we have to figure out what the best fit for your business is. Yeah, sure. It's twenty dollars a month for E3 uh, Office 365 per user, but it might be also an additional X dollars a month to do some add-ons that that, are, that would add value to your company or your your cloud migration journey. Your your project cost could be ten thousand dollars more than your neighbor because you needed something different. You needed customization. That's so everybody should go to the cloud. You should understand what the benefits are and you should understand um, what the cost for you really is. And even if you're gonna go out and shop it around, at least get a good 
business case underneath it that somebody needs to do for you that you can hand to your two or three people you're going to get prices from and say, this is what I want because I had somebody who wrote the spec, who understands my business, um, which is part of what we do. We know every, people shop everything, but I say, let us, let us um, work with you to figure out what you really need. And then at least take that and shop that around. But don't have three different vendors give you three different unrelated quotes because they have three different ways of doing it and they don't really understand your business. That's my answer to you about cloud. You need it, you should have it, but you should have a really good trusted advisor and a professional that understands your business needs and can help you figure it out. Ideally, for example, using us, we would do that for you and you would use us for all of it. But even if you go and shop it, at least you've got something good to shop.